Hey guys, back to do an updated what's in my bag. This is the Betsy Johnson purse that I had gotten at TJ Maxx. And I added this little pushing or pushing, however you say it. Little palm. Little pom pom. I say pushing because I tried to do it based off of Japanese pronunciation. But that is just how I pronounce it. Everybody pronounces it different, I'm sure. So, there's actually a pocket right there and also in the back of the pocket like that. So, I'm going to do those first. First thing I have, because whenever we're out running errands, I like listening to my music and my mom does not like my music. Or my headphones. These are the Sony... I'm trying to think of what they are. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure of the brand, and that was my phone, the buzz, by the way. But they're just the only ones that can, the earphones can fold in like that. I really, really want the baby pink ones, but they're only sold on eBay and Amazon, I think. But it's ridiculous. And then. The other thing I have in the front pocket are tissues in case I have rain nose or allergies or my mom or friend of the family or John because John and I in particular have really bad allergies. So that's what's in the front. What is this? I forget what this is. Oh, that was a grocery list from yesterday that was still trash. And then the post office keys is there at the bottom. I'm not going to pull those out because of identity theft and blah. Uh, I know a lot of people say, oh, they can't get your identity through your know, box keys, can they? I went, they can look it up. So that is why I am not showing this. Anyway, in this back one, I don't have anything. And then this is what the inside looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First thing are my sunglasses with the blinged out sides. Look like this on. So, my grandmother had gotten these off of the publisher's clearinghouse, ironically. So she gave them to me because she said that it fit my style more than it did hers. And in the other side pocket, I have a pen. I apologize again on my phone. With the twist up to get the point. And it does have a click, but it's not to do the point. It is to light it up. You guys can see. I'm trying to get it to. So I won't do. But anyway, you guys get the point. Just to light it up. So, and then I have a little stylus pen that I use if my hands are dirty. And I don't think I have anything in the zipper pocket in here. I was just having a little bag of the glasses going in. Okay. Then next I have my wallet. John got this for me at Walmart, I think like a year or two, a year, year and a half ago. And then this opens like this. This you hit and it unfolds again to show the cards, which I'm not going to show. And then in the little zipper piece right here, I keep like coupons and stuff. And then there is a zipper on the back for coins. And next I have a brush because my hair tends to go crazy and it is the Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. I got this from Rue 21 before they closed in my mall. So definitely really like this. I'd like to get one of those like travel wet brushes to put in my purse. 
Then next are my keys. Just look like this. Got all my cards on the Marie keychain. Then I got a Target. A little Disney Tsum Tsum. Then I have the house keys on this one that's got Pikachu and then this one that's like a brass knuckle thing. This one with the Eevee has two other keys and then I have a picture of John on here. So that's all on my keys. Then last but not least is the makeup bag. And I am currently using this one that I had gotten at Ipsy last month. And it's like a textured black bag. First thing is this vanilla hand cream with the unicorn on it that I've mentioned before. And I definitely really like this a lot and hopefully I can get another one online or something. Next is the ColourPop a lip gloss in Ipsy VIP. Which looks like this. I got this in Ipsy last month as well. I will swatch it. Just looks like this. So yeah, definitely really like the color and it's good for fall. Then I have two more glosses. I have the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair, which I will swatch as well. This one's more nude, obviously, but I definitely really like this one as well. Like on days when I don't know what to wear, this is like my go to. It's swatched under the color pop. There we go. And then the last one is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in I think easy enough. Took me a second to read it. And this one is a much lighter pink than the ColourPop. So, and it's on the bottom. So you can see all three. And then after those, I have a Carmex for on the go because my lips tend to get dry. A small dot band aid. This is a purse hook so that this sits on the table and, and your purse hangs right here. And then I also have a thing to hold medication in that I might need. Then the last thing is this mirror. And if you remember, if you've been around a while, then this will look familiar to you. This belonged to my great grandmother, I believe. My grandfather's mother. And it did have a lipstick thing, but it exploded. Like it came out and just made a mess of the bag because it was a hot day. So I just use the mirror in it now. And this is definitely something that I will always have until it breaks anyway. Yeah, that was everything in the bag. Let me just double check. Yeah. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down below some things that you guys carry in your purse. And I will talk to you guys soon in another video. And another time. Uh, just.